let's take a look at something a little bit more complex and some of the other capabilities that we've got within the new sketch tool. So my first task is to increase the overall size of the sketch. Notice as I drag that sketch dimension that symmetry relations have been found and my sketch is updated either side of the sketch origin. The symmetric relations were automatically found because the sketch was built around the X and Y sketch axes. Now I'm going to modify the other overall dimension and again you'll notice that the symmetric relationships are maintained. As you saw earlier we can mouse over any of the relations and see a description of each one plus any of the associated geometry. We also talked about the capability of using overrides for dimensions or relations. In this case we're going to relax the dimensions in this sketch and dynamically drag the profile. Notice that the relaxed dimensions are colored pink. This color is consistent to what you've already seen when we selected relations to relax. So let's take off relaxed dimensions and see where we can find the relation finder settings. It's under options in the ribbon and as you can see these are all the ones that can be automatically found by the solver. During these demonstrations you've seen me do a lot of dynamic dragging of the geometry but all of it in a linear fashion. In this new sketch tool we've included a new rotate drag option that will enable the user to make more complex design changes easier. Rotate drag uses a handle that you can dynamically position anywhere and that's used as the center of rotation. In this case we're going to take the profile that's in the center of our sketch and rotate it. We're relaxing the dimensions and some of the relations to enable us to make this complex change. And just by simply rotating the geometry, we have our required design change. And that concludes this demonstration.